Kia ora, it's been a couple of days but I really wanted to get my thoughts out on this set here real quick. This is the LEGO Ideas Jaws set which releases in just a few weeks this August, August 6th to be exact. This is a set that I am planning on buying come at least the end of the year. Set 21350 Jaws is the 58th LEGO Ideas set to be released. The set features 3 minifigures in total with 1497 pieces and it retails for around 270 NZD which is comparable to the Dune Ornithopter which does feature more minifigures but it does have less pieces. I thought I'd cover some of my thoughts on the set here first and then I'll take a look at the value compared to other $270 price sets and why I think this is such a winning pick for LEGO. There are timestamps down below for all of those interested. Coming right out and saying it, I adore this model including the Orca build and the build of Bruce the Shark plus features a diorama display stand because LEGO want this to target the adult community of LEGO builders. It makes it feel like a true love letter to the icon of cinema. That price did take me back a little at first, but then I saw how the set can detach from the diorama display stand, which I think makes for a compelling design here, and it features a fully built model of the shark and boat, it just makes it feel like a real complete package. Now this is Spielberg's fourth film franchise to be adapted towards Lego sets now. This display is going to look incredible next to the Jurassic Park and Raiders of the Lost Ark display diorama models, which are two of my favorite sets from Lego's Hollywood displays. And what won me over ultimately was that price wise, those two dioramas are priced the exact same as this one, and piece count wise, they're pretty similar too. So I think the comparison here works tremendously, better than my Dune one at the start, ignore that one. Looking at these sets side by side even has me considering buying the set day one now instead, a feat that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the great support that I receive from all of you who watch this channel by the way. So hey, thank you very much for liking the videos and subscribing. I love that designer Bruce here, I'm always a big fan of giant animals and creatures built in Lego. It feels reminiscent to me of how Pyacan was designed a couple of years ago. The shark can be split down the middle that allows you to have a really cool dynamic display of him emerging from the ocean, or you can have him fully built on his own little display stand. And because this is a diorama based model, we do have a quoted tile piece and some tiles that feature the logo of Jaws. People are reporting that these are prints, not stickers, so clearly, if true, Lego want to go all out on this one. The Orca boat model looks really good too, measurements being around 35cm high, 59cm long, and 20 centimeters wide and being a display model I did have my doubts about the size here but seeing the inside of the model there is enough room to have all three minifigures sitting down. I think the set is really solid for appealing to people outside of the Jaws love as well. This set would pair wonderfully well with things like the fishing hut that was released a few years ago. I'm personally a sucker for Lego sets based around sea life. Builds like docks and wharfs and fishing always require heavy attention to details. All that clutter you see on old boats and such is so exciting to be built building in Lego sets and so the designs are always really fun experiences. As for our minifigures we have three of the lead heroes, Chief Brody, Amity Island's police chief, Matt Hooper the marine biologist and Quint the shark hunter. It looks like all three of these guys are using special prints as well for the faces and the torsos I think. Which is crazy, just goes to show that Lego do absolutely give a damn about the Jaws property here and they want to go that full extra mile because I don't know how much of this can be reused in other themes. The likenesses here on all of the figures look terrific, I think that that Roy Schneider glasses look is spot on, it's perfect. The Richard Dreyfuss and Robert Shaw figures also look really good and I love the costuming here on the figures too. Lego made a small short as well to advertise the sets and I wish we had the mayor as a figure as well just to stand off to the side with the Amity Island beach sign or something. The figures include accessories as well, we've got a revolver, I always appreciate more and more when Lego do use weapons in adult based sets. We've also got things like a compass, a fishing rod, a harpoon, some spears, a machete and a camera so yeah Lego seem to have gone all out with this one. It's a buy from me definitely, I love having movie based display sets especially on one off movies like this one. It's just a good sell to me to be able to spend this amount on a one and done purely genuine Lego set for an incredible movie in the blockbuster space and cinema in general. I already see that this will be an amazing set to have on display with the Jurassic and Raiders models. And now that I think about it I really hope we just see a bunch of Spielberg titles made into sets like this because E.T., Tintin, War of the Worlds, these things are just asking for it in my opinion. And why I'm so excited about this is because this is the exact type of IP that LEGO should be chasing and targeting for adults. Jaws has always had a lot of discussion amongst people about the ratings and classification systems in different countries in regarding to film and television censorship. It's movies like this though that should be the ones picked for this 18 plus ideas and icons line. And because they're based on these sort of more adult based IP, I feel that the adult prices are a bit more warranted here. This is a much better sell to me than a property that targets families and 
younger generations and has adult prices looking at Legend of Zelda. Properties like those need a lot more options for all collectors, which is something that can be fixed in a retrospective space, mind you, so here's hoping we get Zelda stuff in the future. A few years ago, LEGO released a poll for the audience to vote on which license you would like to see adapted in a Brickhead celebration release. The choices were Minecraft, Star Wars, Jaws, and Lilo and Stitch. Now, at the time, I voted Jaws because otherwise, I didn't see this license existing in LEGO. My partner, she voted for Stitch because she wanted LEGO Stitch. The people, they voted for Star Wars, and what we ended up getting was the Ahsoka as a special release. Fast forward X many years later, we now have a brick-built Stitch available in stores, which is a much better idea than a Brickhead's design, and we have a LEGO Ideas release of Jaws, which is also better than a Brickhead's design. You see what I mean when it comes to that retrospective fix there? Talking about the set, I think I might have sold myself into buying this at day one actually, uh, but the Jabba sale barge is coming soon, I really want to see pictures, I'm like, trying to save up for that one, I still want Baradir as well, uh, decisions, decisions. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on all of this, leave your comments down below, liking and subscribing greatly helps to support this channel into making more videos like this one in the future, ka kite everyone, I hope to see you all next time.